morning. So we got the heat absolutely cranking because it's cold outside. Um, and and we are up and ready to head over to the airport to fly home for Thanksgiving week. So I always get people asking me, how do I take flights when I live in the van? And I think people just really overthink it because it's, it's not really as difficult as you think because there's really not much to it. I mean, basically I just drive to the airport, pull into whatever economy lot they have at the airport because usually the economy lots are outdoors and not in garages. And then I park the van, take a shuttle over to the airport that is provided free of charge from the airport most of the time. And then I take my flight. And then when I get back from my flight, I take the shuttle back to the parking lot, pick up my van, pay whatever fuel is involved. Usually it's like 10 to $15 a day or the airport that I'm going to right now, which is Las Vegas airport. It's only $10 a day, so it's really nice and you're good to go. So there really just isn't that much to it. It's really actually pretty simple. Some airports are a little bit more difficult than others, but I really like flying out of Las Vegas airport because it is super simple. When you Got my ticket. Now we just gotta find a parking spot. See if we can get one close by. Another fellow van lifer. Staying in the Vegas parking lot. This place is packed. All right, you guys remember that J2 spot. Um, J2 spot 100. Remember that, because I'm gonna forget. And then I just leave the ticket in here so that there's no chance I can lose it because I know that it will if I take it home. So um, the only things that I really need to do in order to get the van ready before I leave is I leave one of these vents open. So I'll open up this front one. Um, and then in the summertime, so like when I flew out of Vegas this summer, I left one of the fans on so that I just got some circulation through. But but since it's winter time, I don't really need to do that because I'm not worried about it getting too hot in here or anything. And the weather says it shouldn't get below freezing um, while I'm away, so I'm not really too worried about that. But that's basically it, and then I'm ready to go. When I leave, I'll make sure my lights are off and all that kind of stuff, and then that's pretty much it. The only real thing that I actually have to do is put up my window covers. So I've got this big one for the windshield, and then I have all these little panel pieces for all my side windows. And they just kind of like stick on there with suction cups like that. And there you go, there's basically just a panel for every single window, and then my front one, and we're good to go. And if you guys will notice, I'm actually wearing real person shoes today. We got the uh, Nikes on, we're not wearing Birkenstocks because we're going to be home for a while, so we got to wear normal shoes and it's winter. But now the only thing I really got to do is make sure the van's locked. And then I got to go to one of these shuttle stops that are kind of in this parking lot and catch a shuttle. Also, one more thing. This is the only key that I have for my van. So whenever I go fly, it goes right into this back pocket back here for the entire duration of my time at home and it does not come out of there no matter what just so that I don't lose it because that would be the worst thing to fly back here and then realize that I don't have my key so I keep it in there nice and secure so I don't end up forgetting it it's kind of crazy how close this airport is to the strip I mean it's like right there I feel like I could walk there if I wanted to but yeah these shuttle stops are kind of littered throughout the parking lot like you can kind of see it over there that little red sign next to that shuttle stop there's like four or five of them in the parking lot. And basically you just gotta go over there and wait for uh, one of them to come. Typically they come every like 10 to 20 minutes. So I usually give myself some extra time to get here and actually get on the shuttle. Red shuttle stop. Oh, they don't have the TV on today. So I don't know when the shuttle's coming. So now we just wait. So this is normally the part of the video where I would have a montage of me doing things with some music in the background, but in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I figured I'd take this time to talk about some of the stuff in my life that I'm thankful for, starting out with nobody sitting in the middle seat for my flight home on a fully packed flight, which was very nice. On a more serious note though, I am incredibly lucky to even have a family to fly home to for the holidays, and even more so that they all get along for the most part. And without the constant support that I've gotten from them, I would be half the man that I am today. Every single one of them has helped teach me something about life, either directly or indirectly, especially my parents. 
My mom taught me to practice compassion and kindness every day and in everything that I do. And my dad taught me to never give up on my dreams and instilled an entrepreneurial spirit in me that has driven me to never give up no matter how many businesses I failed in in college and in high school, which there were many. Also, I'm pretty grateful that they let me stay in their driveway for six months using their tools so that I could build out my van to live in. Without them, I would have most definitely failed. Another reason that getting back home is always made especially exciting is because of these two guys. No matter how long I've been gone, coming home always feels like a celebration with my dogs. Being able to hang out with them is easily one of my favorite things to do, and even they have taught me something, and that is to love unconditionally. And speaking of loving unconditionally, my girlfriend, the most beautiful girl in the world, one of the most important people in my life, and an exceptional example of a woman that every guy dreams of finding. She has always supported me in whatever I have done from day one and has always been a rock to keep me grounded when I inevitably get in over my head trying to do things. She doesn't take anything from anyone and is the strongest, most compassionate, unconditional loving person that I am unexplainably lucky enough to call my girlfriend. Noel, if you're watching this, I am so incredibly grateful for you and without you, I wouldn't be half as happy or half the man I am today. I love you with all of my heart. And last but not least would be my friends, my best friends. These guys, some of which aren't in this video, are by far some of the best buddies that a man could hope for. I remember this quote that I heard one time that a man's friendships are the best measures of his worth. And I don't really know if it's true or not, but if it is, then I must be worth a billion dollars because this group of guys and some other people that aren't in this video are some of the most honest, fun-loving, hard-working people that I'm lucky enough to call my best friends and have some of the greatest memories of my life with. I wouldn't hesitate to go to war for any one of them, and I know they would do the same for me, and I can honestly say that I love all of them like family. The reason that I wanted to make this part of the video more than just a montage is because a lot of the time I like to think that I'm self-made and I built this amazing life, community, and online business by myself, but in reality, it was on the shoulders of everyone around me that supported me in some way or another, and I don't take the time enough to truly express how thankful I am. I would not have achieved everything I have in the past few years without everyone around me supporting me, and I obviously wasn't able to fit everything and everyone into this little piece of video, so anyone watching this video that has showed support, offered kindness, or been a friend at any time of my life, I just wanna say thank you. I will always continue to grow and I will build something that leaves this world a better place than when I entered it. Thank you to anyone who has ever been a positive part of my life. <sighs> All right, we have made it back to the van after a long five or six days hanging out with family, hanging out with friends, hanging out with my girlfriend. And it was really nice to uh, get back and see everybody for uh, the holidays and hang out with some people that I haven't seen in a while. But now we have to leave the, uh, you can't see it, but the airport parking lot we're in outside of Vegas and go find a spot to stealth camp in tonight that is not a casino. So I have um, flown in and out of the Vegas airport so many times that I kind of have a, a few places that I like to sleep either before or after I end up taking a flight. And I think tonight I'm gonna go to one of the spots that I know is nearby and is a pretty good spot to camp in a shopping center that has a 24 hour plan of fitness. So I'm going to head over there now and find me a nice beautiful campsite to sleep in just outside of Vegas. So this spot is only like 14 minutes away, according to my maps. And in all honesty, it is where I should have parked when I was in Vegas before my flight, because then I wouldn't have lost $300. So it's just an easy spot that I know is good to camp for the night. So we're heading there. And then for the next two days, I'm gonna be kind of hanging out somewhat generally in the area, planning out my route for my cross country trip. Because as you guys know, I will be leaving from here all the way across the country to Maryland starting in a couple days. And I have none of my route planned out, so I gotta get that planned. But for now, the most important thing is getting to somewhere where I can sleep for the night because I am tired. And we didn't lose our ticket for the parking, so that's good. Let's see how much it is. $84. Oh, I was gone for a long time, wow. That's the most expensive it's been. It's just saying card read error. Yeah, let me take it over to the big machine. Okay. Machine didn't want to take my card, so parking attendant lady came over, said she's gonna take it over to the big machine, give me a receipt, so. 
Now we're waiting for that. Thank you very much. You're Have a good one. And we have been set free from our vehicular prison. To the campsite we go. And here we are. Home sweet home for the night in this wonderful Planet Fitness parking lot. And would you look at that? Another fellow van lifer is also calling this home for the night. Hello, friend. Oh, there's another one over there. Two van lifers. This is where we are going to call home for the night, right in this spot. Oh. <sighs> home sweet home. All right, we are back in full-time van life for the next month until we get home for Christmas. And it is actually pretty cold here in Vegas tonight. It is currently 40 degrees with a low of 34 degrees tonight. So I definitely want to get that diesel tank fixed as quickly as I can so that I can use my heater. And I honestly would make dinner tonight, but I had a cup of noodles and a cheese platter on the plane, so I'm not very hungry. I'm also super tired because I'm still on East Coast time, so it's like 1 a.m. for me. It's only 10.44 here, but I'm probably going to go to bed. And before I go, I do want to say that I did not forget about you guys. I am unbelievably thankful for every single one of you that continues to watch my videos and comments positive things. All of my comments are always so positive on all of my videos and I truly, truly appreciate you guys so much. I would be absolutely nothing without you guys. And your continued support really just means a lot to me. Um, I never thought anyone would enjoy watching videos that I make. I didn't think I was an entertaining person. Uh, I'm not the funniest person. Sometimes I chew gum in my videos and it's annoying. And it's just so amazing the uh, sense of community that I've built over the last year and a half on YouTube and TikTok and in my Discord. And it's really fun taking you guys along to hang out with me and come on these van adventures. And there will be many more to come with my trip all the way across the country. And then I got another big trip planned right after that um, that I'm really excited for. So there's a lot more content to come. So if you guys do enjoy my videos, there'll be a lot more for you to watch. But for now, I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired, so I will catch you guys next time.